Most of us are doing pretty well with our digital notebooks, but keeping a good notebook is more than just having your notes updated. In this lesson, we are going to go through various functions that are provided in Google Docs. By going through the toolbar, pause the video as we go along so that you can practice using the tools in your notebook directly as we go. Beginning on the left, you'll see two arrows, undo and redo. These tools are important to remember if you accidentally press delete or do something you wish to switch back. So if I accidentally delete all my notes, I could just go up to the undo button and it'll put itself back. Moving over to the zoom function. This gives users the ability to make their notebook the size they wish to view it in. Right now I have it in fit, which means it's fitting the browser that I have open. If your notebook is too small, use the fit function to view it in the screen you wish, rather than changing the font size to, what, to see what you're writing. Over to font and font size, you always want to make sure that your font is legible, which means easily read. This means keeping your font to the five fonts here at the top and your font size between 11 and 14. Using bold, italics, and underline are going to be really helpful functions to organize the look of your notebook. I want students to have their lesson outcomes bolded, as well as titles and main topics. To use the bold function, you could press the B at the top or use a keyboard shortcut. Mac users press Command B for bold, Command I for italics, and Command U for underline. For PC, you're going to press Control B for bold, I for italics, and again U for underline. So for Mac users, you're pressing Command, and for PC, you're pressing Control. Next, we have the alignment function. This is very helpful to avoid pressing the space bar a million times to get the margin over to where we want it. If you want the center alignment, simply press the center alignment button. To get a right alignment, you would press the right alignment button. Moving away from the toolbar, I've also noticed that many of you are pressing the enter button to start a new page for a new day's class notes. This is not necessary. If you go up to insert and down to page break, Google will automatically start a new page for you instead of pressing enter 10 times. Moving down to where it says more, we will have more functions to view. We have a numbered list and a bulleted list to choose from. Make sure your lesson outcomes are, of course, bolded, but also bulleted so that you can see each of them very clearly. Using the numbered list would be helpful for things like the eight parts of speech. We have eight right here. I've also noticed that many of you are spelling things wrong and not fixing them. Google tells you every time you spell a word wrong by inserting a red squiggly line underneath that word. Since Google points out these errors for you, you should be able to fix them. It's important to use the tools to aid organization and utilize our technology as best as we can. Technology can make our lives easier if we use them in the proper ways. I expect all your digital notebooks to be very well organized using the tools we just learned and discussed.